It's officially day one here in Da Nang. I spent some time this morning editing and putting up my laundry, but I am on my way to go find a motorbike for the day. I still don't really know what I'm doing. It's either going to Hoi An or the Golden Bridge. I'm super excited to explore, but I also need to check in. The receptionist lady said to just check in and give my passport this morning, and then hopefully she will know someone who could rent me a bike. Another thing too, I was looking through my footage and all of my footage from Ninbin is like dead. It's garbage because apparently my mic decided to not work the entire day. So I have all the footage but there's no audio. So I'm kind of bummed about that but I guess that gives me another reason to go back. And because I honestly I really like Ninbin and I don't think a day was enough, I definitely would like to go back and spend at least two to three days there in Ninbin. So maybe my next trip to Vietnam. Your girls officially sit. That was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. The girls downstairs are so nice to me. Oh my gosh, I feel so loved. They're like, anything you need, you can tell us. One of the girls, she even already got me a motorbike. It's 150,000 dong a day, and I'm going to rent it out for two days. So, well now what's next? Hoi An or Golden Bridge first? I actually think I might go over to Hoi An today, just because I know that I have a full day here in the area, whereas for the bridge, I want to go mainly for sunset. So I could spend a little bit more time uh, just exploring Hoi An. And I'm really excited. I've seen pictures and it kind of looks like the Venice of, where am I? Vietnam. But right now I am hungry and I'm heading off to this market, I think it's called Han Market and I'm gonna go explore parts of Da Nang before the bike comes. She said it's gonna come in about 20 to 30 minutes, so I'm excited about that. I also extended one more night here in Da Nang because tomorrow my flight leaves at 11 p.m. and checkout is at noon, and I just want to make sure that I had time to maybe come back and shower if I needed to after going to now the Golden Bridge. And also when I did book this hotel, I was on the bus coming back from Ninbin over to Hanoi, and I didn't really know where to stay. But what I usually do whenever I have no idea on how to book or where to book my accommodations is to look up best things to do in each city and I'll pin them on my map first and then after that I'll just find a hotel around the area so I know that I'm in a safer area. There's stores around me if I need to go get food or water at the middle of the night that I'd be safe. So around the area that I'm staying in, there's market 10 minutes away, there's cafes, there's bars around the area. So I just knew and I felt a little bit safer just booking my night here. Just walked past that cafe and I really like it. I love the vibes and how everyone's just kind of sitting outside chilling. So maybe I'll go there later and get some coffee and chill out. And your girl has officially made it to the Han Market. Okay, this was a less than 10 minute walk from my hotel. And so far, Da Nang is a lot quieter than Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh, the cities that I've gone to, which is nice. There's not that much honking. I'm gonna go across the street and hope that I won't get hit, haha. <laughs> but what I also noticed here so far is that there's a lot of Korean nail salons out here. And I know I mention Korean stuff all the time, but I think it sticks out to me more because I am Korean. Oh, that timber looks so good. <laughs> okay, what can I get here? What do I want? Oh my god, how do we know? 
Wait, I love how that lady was just, she said hi to me in Korean. <laughs> Oh my god, how does she know? She's actually like the first person to actually think that I'm Korean because most people here think I'm Japanese. Oh, look at all this. Is that crab? Yeah, that was You're unique. I've never seen these specific ones before. All right, I'm strolling through this market. It looks like there's just a lot of food, goodies, packaged foods you can buy. I'm gonna go upstairs. Looks like there's more clothes. So it looks like the downstairs is mainly food and the upstairs is just clothes. There's a lot of cute things here. So I don't even know when I'll wear them. That's the one thing too. There are some days where I sometimes just feel like I want to dress like a lady and not just wear tanks and shorts all the time. But again, even though I do wear these, it'll probably be like once a week. Unless someone wants to take me on a date, hey! single right to mango <laughs> okay no but in all seriousness if something sticks out to me i will buy it but so far i think i'm okay i've decided i think i'm gonna stay here and eat here and then get coffee at that cafe that i went to let me squeeze in through here sorry let me see what they have because i still don't really know all the dishes here all right, let's see what I can eat. I want rice. Oh no, noodles. No, that's dessert. Hello. Um, no, noodle rice. Okay. Oi. Huh? Noodle. Oni. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. I guess I'm eating here. Come on. Bon tig nun. Bon tig nun. Bon tig nun. All right. I was gonna get bon cha, but then my gut was just telling me to get this one instead. This is also the inside where they're cooking. Wow. There's a lot going on here. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty sweet. All right. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, it was so good. Bon tic noon. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh. Uh. Oh, okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> she already knew I would like my chili. But sit here, eat my noodles, and then. Oh, come on. <laughs> I love my peppers. Alrighty. This is great. Mmm. <laughs> really good. Is this a napkin? I don't know. Oh, this is really good. It's like, you know, your rice noodle with the meat and pork cucumber and the spice is just on point. It's perfect. I was picking at the basil and trying to take it off and the lady saw him and she just literally came over and started doing it for me. Like, she didn't have to do that. Why is she annoying? But now I have a bowl full of leaves. I love my greens. <laughs> I asked her for tissue. I was gonna eat this paper for tissue. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, Vietnamese. Tissue. Vietnamese. Okay. Yay lao. Yay lao. I was gonna use paper as my tissue because I couldn't find it. Yay lao. <laughs> okay. Okay. Come on. Okay, come on. Huh? Come on. Um, Tambia. <laughs> okay. Again. Bye. Oh, they're so nice to me. Oh, that uh, bon tit nong was delicious, and this avocado smoothie is honestly really good too. You know. Wherever I decide to settle down and live, I would love to live near a market where I can just get all of the vegetables and the fruits. All over Asia, there's so many of them. I love it. And they're so cheap. Like, I just want ample amounts of fruits and veggies at all times. Ooh, where am I? Okay, there's like this uh, lake harbor thing. I just took some time to just chill out here at this harbor, but now I go back to a hotel.
to get the bike and then drive over to Hoi An. Yeah, I think my guy is telling me more to go to Hoi An today. To be honest, I don't really know what to do over there. I haven't done so much research um, because I've just been on the road for the last week or so. But in the next nine minutes that I get to my hotel, I'm gonna do a quick search and then just wing it like I always do. Look, another Korean nail salon. I am back in my hotel right now, but downstairs, the girls were actually telling me that when I do go ride the bike, that I should wear my mask on, just because they were saying how the cops purposely pull over foreigners out here, and I do look like a foreigner, but she said that with my mask, I can pass for Vietnamese. But she was saying how they'll probably just charge you just because you probably don't have an international driver's license but thankfully i do have mine i'm gonna wear my mask anyway and bring my international license but that's really good to know and the motorbike is downstairs waiting for me already so super relieved and i am going to go pack and then head over to okay let's go ow oh my god I was gonna do one of those transition things, but I just hit my head. Okay, anyways guys, I am all ready and set to leave for Hoi An. Uh, one challenge though, my headphones literally broke. I broke them on my way back to Hanoi from Sapa. And this is a problem because whenever I was driving motorbikes, I'd put this in my ear and then navigate with Google Maps and through my I watch, but it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge and it's a little difficult. <sighs> if I can find a bow store anywhere around Vietnam, please, because I am so loyal to these headphones, I literally will not go for anything else. Like, screw the Apple AirPods, screw all the other headphones, but this is my favorite and I've had these for the last like six years and I will literally not change. Okay, let's go. Oh my gosh, I'm like, blah. <laughs> Let's go, camera, let's go, and we are officially out. Bye, Bye. see you. Alrighty, your girl is officially out. So, here is my motorbike for the next two days. I'm gonna put on the mask, I'm gonna go over, fill up my gas tank, and she even showed me how to get all the way to Hoi An. So go across Dragon Bridge and then head over to my key beach and then from my key beach go all the way down to Hoi An and it's a one-way shot. So you girl finally filled up her gas tank. It cost me a total of 94,000 dong to fill it all up, which is actually less than I wanted to add. And overall, I think I got used to driving motorbikes. So I'm gonna put my camera away, but I'll see you guys in Hoi An. Okay, so your girl has officially and safely made it over to Hoi An. And all I gotta say, when I was driving through the town area, I just wanted to stop in every single corner and just kind of take photos and videos everywhere. It's really beautiful. All the buildings are yellow. Taylor, another Taylor. Ooh, another Taylor. Seems like this whole street is just Taylor City. This is a really pretty street. This street right here kind of reminds me of Mexico. Just like all the bright, bright colors. I love it. It's so vibrant in this town. Okay, let me some macaroni. Macaroni. I'm exhausted, so I'm just gonna sit here, chill here, and figure out the rest of my day and where I want to go after. I've been here for the last hour or so. I've just been chilling out because I was exhausted from the heat and driving. But after doing more research, I'm realizing more that Hoi An is a more night time thing to do as the town and the bridges and all of the hotspots they kind of light up at night because there's so many lanterns everywhere so I think I'm just gonna go to the beach right now and then come back here okay so this is really cute they have all these boats lined up here I think 
people go out for sunset tours, but this is a nice dock and harbor to kind of walk around. It's really cute. It's really cute here if you're with a group or if you're with one other person. It's basically not solo, but it's really pretty. It's really pretty. And I love all of the lanterns on the boats and just honestly all around the entire town. So I ended up at the Hoi An Market and I was actually planning on coming here later towards the night. Every corner you turn here, you just want to take out your phone and just take photos. There's so many photo opportunities out here. I just literally have been taking so much time just taking my snaps. There's a lot of fake brand name stuff, but this is probably my favorite one. I don't know where I parked my bike. Really, Grace, come on. I'm trying to backtrack, but I'm a little lost. And all the roads look really similar together. Your girl found her bike. It was right around the corner, but I'm asking her if I can park here for the whole day because I want to go to the beach and come back and take photos here at night. Your girl got herself over to An Bang Beach and I'm about to just chill out here, get some food. It's really, really peaceful and beautiful out here. There's a lot of just restaurants, bars, and a lot of huts along the beach. But I am not in the right attire. I have sneakers on and no bathing suit. So I'm gonna go and get some food and just chill from the top. And if I stay here in time for a golden hour, I might just throw up the drone, but that's in an hour. And that's a long time, so we'll see how long I decide to stay here. But it's really beautiful because there's a lot of mountains in the background and then you just have people and families just chilling out here. So it's really peaceful, it's a nice time. I did my stroll actually around here first and I'm eating at Mr. Ka. This restaurant's kind of tucked in the back. See, but look how pretty it is in here. I could just stay here. It's really quiet here as well, which I'm looking for. And there's nice seatings around here, so I'm just gonna chill out here and just relax. Ooh, do they have stairs to go down? Oh, cool. Over here, and you just want to drink. And you don't want people being loud in your face. Your seat's right here. So nice. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Which five people want to come and join me? <laughs> And there's a pineapple smoothie waiting here for me. Good. Come on. Okay. I have a uh, chili. It's chili. Hands down, that was one of the best fried rice I've ever had in my life. No joke. It was crunchy, just the right amount of seasoning, and it was really delicious. It was just a vegetable fried rice. I would have that over and over again. But it is golden hour right now, and it honestly looks like it's about to rain in a couple of minutes, so I'm gonna throw up the drone right now and see what I can get. There's a lot of color in the sky right now already and since it's supposed to be in an hour so let me throw this thing up and see what i can get It was about to rain and I got really nervous so I brought back the drone in like five minutes but I think I got pretty okay shots but I'm about to head over to the bridge the Hoi An bridge to take a few photos of the bridge at night and then I think I'm gonna head back over to Da Nang so um, it's been a very relaxing time here in Hoi An. I 
was definitely not expecting to just chill at the beach and just relax or just within the town itself but if you're here and you're looking to tailor a suit a shirt or whatever it is i highly recommend you doing so in hoi an but because i am pretty content wearing the same four things every single day i think i'm okay and i'm gonna pass on the tailored outfit i was thinking about it when i was biking around today how if i ever come back to vietnam which i really want to i kind of want to bike around the entire country like i think that is a bucket list thing that i want to do there's just so so many pockets of really historical and really unique towns and cities to vietnam when i have no idea but let's just hope that i don't go back to the states before i do so so should i do that should i bike around the entire country of vietnam and just vlog my way through that'd be kind of cool The beach is only about like a 13 minute motorbike ride from the downtown area and it's just completely different. Here you just got mountains, the beaches, you feel kind of like you're at a resort as opposed to the downtown area where every other store is like a tailor store, more souvenirs. During the day you might want to come to the beach and at night you go into the town area because I think it is really beautiful at night. Other than that, I paid 30,000 dong to park my car or my bike for like an hour or two but the receptionist at my hotel was saying how it should only cost you 5,000 dong and the lady initially wanted to charge me 80,000 but like an hour before I was actually paying she gave me a price that was less than half so maybe she was trying to rip me off because I'm a foreigner but I was able to just pay 30. I just got over to the cow temple and there's actually quite a bit of people over here so I'm just gonna go over to the other side just park my bike this is cow temple from behind it is definitely a vibe over here and there are so many people here the lights are absolutely gorgeous and yes I do think that Hoi An is better to see at night Exiting the bridge right now, that was really pretty. But I'm just gonna walk out past the bridge and the river area to see more of the views of the bridge from that side. And to be honest, I'm not gonna lie, I really came here for the photos. <laughs> so I'm gonna switch my lens over. Could I even walk through here? Oh no. I'm gonna switch my lens over and then take my photos and then call it a night. is where all the people are at. It's 7.25 and it is way more packed than it was earlier today. But I just spent the last half hour taking photos and videos of these boats with the lanterns. They're absolutely gorgeous out here. If you're here in Hoi An, this is something that you gotta do. All the boats, they can take anywhere up from one to four people, looks like. I just don't really feel like going on a boat right now. I kind of want to get some ice cream. <laughs> oh my god. I'm an idiot. I wanted to take photos over here because it's really pretty, 
<laughs> well, I didn't realize I stepped in mud and now my shoes are just gunk. Just look at that. <sighs> this is so nasty. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> This is basically Hoi An at night and if you guys are visiting you definitely want to come here during the night time and to just ride one of these boats with the beautiful lanterns, take your photos, take your videos and enjoy the rest of the night. I'm going to go get myself a cup of ice cream and then I'm going to head back over to Da Nang. I got an hour motorbike ride back up to my hotel and I'm going to see what's my best option for the Golden Hand tomorrow. It's either early in the morning or for sunset but I don't really know since there's gonna be a lot of people, but we'll just wait and see. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. This is my one day over here in Da Nang and in Hoi An. And if you guys are visiting, I think Hoi An is definitely doable within a day to explore the entire area. And if you wanna get a suit tailored or a shirt tailored, this is the place to do it for the cheapest price you could probably ever get. So, I'm exhausted, but I will see you guys tomorrow. And until then, safe and happy travels, y'all. I'll see you guys.